This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Okay, now that I'm hooked up, I'm going to go ahead and open test cock number two. Lead. Get it out, letting the air out of this end. Close my bleeder. Hold my gauge to proper elevation. So the center line of my assembly is level with the air inlet. Okay, so then I close shutoff valve number two, closing shutoff valve number one. And I'm gonna go ahead and bleed now. So my gauge should drop to atmosphere and I should see when my air inlet opens. I'm bleeding water out of my test kit, but my test kit is not dropping down to my opening point. So that indicates a leaky number one shutoff valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and compensate with that. I'm gonna go ahead and compensate for that using my screwdriver and opening the number one test cock. I'm getting my gauge to drop now. I'm looking for my air inlet opening point. PSI. So this indicates that I have a leaking number one shutoff valve, which I was able to compensate for. And we can go ahead and test. We can move on to how much our check valve is going to hold. Keep in mind, though, that you're going to have to compensate for this leaking number one shutoff valve. Go ahead and turn off all your equipment and remove and move on.